Title. Overview of the ARIMA model. Understanding Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average for Time Series Analysis. The ARIMA, Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average, model is a widely used time series analysis technique for forecasting future values based on historical data. It combines three key components, autoregression, AR, differencing, I, and moving average, MA. Autoregression, AR, this component refers to the dependence of the current value in a time series on its past values. It assumes that the value at any given time is a linear function of its own previous values, with the weights decaying exponentially as we move back in time. The order of autoregression, denoted by the parameter P, determines the number of lagged observations to include in the model. Differencing, I, time series data often exhibit trends or seasonality that can obscure underlying patterns. Differencing involves subtracting the previous observation from the current one to remove these trends or seasonality. The order of differencing, denoted by the parameter D, specifies the number of differences required to make the series stationary. Moving average, MA. This component captures the relationship between the current observation and a residual error from a moving average model applied to lagged observations. It represents the deviation of the observed value from the mean at a particular time point. The order of the moving average, denoted by the parameter Q, determines the number of lagged forecast errors to include in the model. The ARIMA model is denoted as ARIMA, P, D, Q, where P is the order of the autoregressive component. D is the degree of differencing required to make the series stationary. Q is the order of the moving average component. One common variation of ARIMA is SARIMA, seasonal ARIMA, which incorporates seasonal components into the model to handle data exhibiting periodic patterns. The steps to build an ARIMA model typically include 1. Data preparation. Analyzing the time series data, checking for stationarity, and applying differencing if necessary. 2. Model identification. Determining the values of P, D, and Q by analyzing autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation functions. 3. Parameter estimation. Estimating the parameters of the AR, I, and MA components using techniques like maximum likelihood estimation. 4. Model fitting. Fitting the ARIMA model to the data and assessing its goodness of fit using statistical measures and diagnostic checks. 5. Forecasting. Generating forecasts for future time points based on the fitted model. ARIMA models are widely used in various fields such as economics, finance, meteorology, and engineering for tasks such as predicting stock prices, sales forecasting, and analyzing time-dependent phenomena. Despite its popularity, ARIMA has some limitations, such as the assumption of linearity and difficulty in handling complex patterns like abrupt changes or outliers. Nonetheless, it remains a powerful tool for time series analysis and forecasting.